Hi, and welcome to Bob's Kitchen. We're here today with Buddy and Miss Kate, and we're making a seafood trio lunch. Three really easy recipes you can put together in about an hour. The first one is salami crisps. Now, I know we've done this recipe before on Bob's Kitchen, but today we've taken it to another level with some coriander-infused sour cream, watercress, and fresh smoked salmon. And then for the soup, I took an organic store-bought chunky butternut squash soup, added some heavy cream, other spices, and citrus zest, and wow, it's fantastic. And then, for the main course, an open face yellow fin tuna sandwich with avocado, tomato, and guaiare. The first recipe of three today is salami crisps. I've done this recipe before and it's worth repeating. We're going to take deli sliced salami and bake it in the oven at 350. We bake them in the oven and they come out looking like a little piece of round bacon. Really, really, really easy. We're going to top these with sour cream with a little bit of fresh ground coriander, some watercress, and some fresh smoked salmon, and that'll be our appetizer. So there you have our first recipe, salami crisps with coriander sour cream, a little watercress, and fresh smoked salmon, and it took all of 20 minutes. Our second recipe today is a really elegant butternut squash soup with shrimp. I got an organic, chunky butternut squash soup. I'm going to dress it up with some orange zest, salt and pepper, and a little bit of heavy cream. We're going to let that cook to a nice hot temperature. Then we're going to add the shrimp meat and let it poach in the soup. It's going to be pretty tasty. We've started warming up our organic soup. It's chunky style. It's really good. I went and got a tangerine at the store and we're just going to zest this. And what I mean by zesting is we're just going to grind the skin off of the tangerine into the soup. And a little bit goes a long way. So we're going to use the fine grating setting and grate that into the soup. Okay, once we grind it down, you'll see that the orange zest is hiding inside here. So we'll just tap that down into our soup. And we're done. Then we'll add some black pepper and kosher salt. I have half a pint of heavy cream and I'm just going to add a little bit. I'm going to add maybe oh a quarter cup or so just to give us that extra flavor. You can add more if you like but I like going easy on the cream. Then we'll stir and bring this to a nice almost boil. Our soup is at a really good temperature. All the flavors are starting to mix. The kitchen smells of that zest and the oh it's just so good. So now we have half a pound of shrimp meat defrosted from the freezer and we're going to let it into the soup and let it cook in the soup for the last few minutes. The final recipe we're going to pull off today is an open face tuna sandwich. We're going to pan fry some tuna in thyme and extra virgin olive oil, let it cool, then we're going to cook it under the broiler with tomato, avocado, and guaiare cheese. It's going to be out of this world. Okay, we're going to start up the heat under our pan, and we want a really hot pan for our tuna. Because we're going to leave it medium rare, leave it nice and pink, a nice generous serving of extra virgin olive oil, and then I'm going to crush up and get activated some thyme. Thyme is a really great spice with seafood, and I tell you, this olive oil with this thyme and the, no, oh, it's just going to be so good. So once we get this pan all nice and bubbly, we'll add our tuna. Pan's nice and hot. Our thyme is starting to infuse this olive oil really good. Man, that smells good. All the aromas fill in the kitchen here. Now we're going to add our tuna slices. And you can see the tuna, we've cut it nice and thin, and we're only going to fry it for just a moment to brown it on each side. Here's our tuna browning up. And you'll see how that fresh thyme in the pan is now coating and sticking to our tuna. That'll bring that nice, fresh EVOO and tuna and thyme flavor to our sandwich. We're going to let this cook a little more, then we'll take it off the heat. While we're waiting for our broiler to warm up, we'll just get our sandwiches ready. We're going to center a nice piece of beefsteak tomato on the bread, add some avocado, and a couple of secret ingredients coming right up. 
Okay, here's where the secret ingredient comes in. We're just going to add this is really thin sliced lemon and we're just going to put before we put it in the broiler, we're going to put this insanely thin sliced lemon just a little bit over each sandwich. And the juice of that lemon is just going to explode out of there when we put it on the broiler and give it that nice citrus taste. And then over the top, we're going to put two thin slices of guayer. And we'll throw this under the broiler for about two minutes, being really careful, because the quickest way to burn down a kitchen is not to watch your broiler. And uh, there you go. Well, as sometimes happens in this, you know, volunteer hobby of mine, I messed up the camera when I was trying to take shots of the sandwiches coming out of the oven. They do come out nice and bubbly if you leave them under the broiler for a couple of minutes, and they were very good. So, this has been another edition of Bob's Kitchen. You have a great day.